Video games are still surprising us in 2023. While video games are becoming more corporate and controlled, players are still finding new ways to explore their favourite games and many of the biggest games of 2023 rewarded us for exploring. We're not just talking about glitches and exploits here, we're also talking about unbelievable and awesome secrets we learned while digging deep. Some of these tricks are intended, some are not, but they are all extremely weird. Too many tricks, Starfield. We can't even begin to scratch the surface of all the weird tricks in Starfield and we've talked about many of them already on this very channel, but Starfield is just too big and too buggy to ignore. And the ship builder function which allows you to customise and create a totally unique ship to fly in space has some of the funniest, weird tricks we've seen in a very long time. First is a trick you've likely seen before. If you build a ship shaped like a donut in the ship builder, enemy ships will always aim for the centre of mass while in space. If there's nothing to hit in the centre of your ship, their missiles and kinetic weapons will fly right through your ship. Seeing this in action, we can't believe this trick actually works. Heck, we can't believe that it still works after all of this time. And and bonus points for players that discovered another incredibly useful space flight trick. If you are in the middle of combat in space and your shields are low, you can stand up from your cockpit for a breather. Seriously, all the enemy ships will take a break and stop shooting you. Wait for your shields to recharge and then jump back in. These are two of our favourites but we also love the ability to steal items from vendors by searching the game world for their hidden caches. The containers with all the vendors items are usually locked beneath the floor where you can't access them but clever players can use the cheat console or other glitchy means to reach where you're not supposed to. And while we're talking about stealing, we also love using physics objects to nudge stuff we want to steal somewhere else. See a cool gun on display you want to steal? Nudge it to a private room where you can steal it without anyone seeing. Starfield is packed with all kinds of amazing tricks just like this. At this point, discovering weird tricks is the only reason I want to keep playing, but frankly all of these are likely unintended. Not so for the second game on our list which is packed with totally intentional tricks. Golden Egg Allergy Resident Evil 4 Remake Resident Evil 4 Remake lovingly recreates one of the best games ever made and turns one of our favourite rare healing items into the game's deadliest weapon. Why buy a rocket launcher when you can throw an egg to kill one of the most annoying bosses in the game so much faster? The ruler of the castle, Salazar, is allergic to eggs. During his boss fight at the end of Act 2, you can rapidly drain his health with rare gold eggs, one of which you can find in his throne room. Golden eggs deal about 70% of Salazar's health, who is a much beefier boss than his original counterpart. The remake really made this guy so much harder, so having a new method to end the fight faster is a fantastic addition. And it isn't the only trick you can use to speed through the game. Resident Evil 4 Remake is packed with speedrunning tricks that were intentionally programmed into the game. You can shoot the church bell with a sniper rifle when replaying the game on New Game Plus to instantly end the first big village battle. Whenever there are barriers Leon needs to blow up or destroy, the rocket launcher will smash right through them, like the barrier in the mines. And you can even destroy the wall during the Wrecking Ball sequence with a few heavy grenades. These are just a few of the tricks in Resident Evil 4 for, but they pale in comparison to our next game. Flying High Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom one of our favourite glitches in Tears of the Kingdom has unfortunately been patched out, so you can't try this for yourself if you've already downloaded the latest update. But during the early days of Tears of the Kingdom, players could ride a floating Zonai platform like a jet, flying high in the sky and reaching the top of the skybox in no time flat. All you had to do was talk to a very specific NPC whilst placing a floating platform which will then get nudged out of the way during a cutscene. The NPCs are located at the Riverside Stable. 
After this cutscene, place any item and glue it on with the Ultra Hand. After that, grab the item that's attached to the flying platform and you'll go flying like a rocket. This sends you up into the sky infinitely and you'll even have limited control over the flight trajectory. This is one of the most instantly impressive glitches of the year. Sure, you can build Zonai devices to crush the toughest enemies in the game or create walking mechs that stomp enemies flat, but getting to explore the skies at super speed is our top pick. Exploring the Antarctic, Spider-Man 2 Briefly in the story of Spider-Man 2, Miles Morales will visit Antarctica while jumping through magic portals. This is one of the wildest moments in the middle of the game and gamers immediately started searching for the true location of the Antarctica map. To explore Antarctica, you'll need to replay the Black Cat's mission. The trick is only possible on easy difficulty or you'll run out of time to pull this off. After entering the portal to reach Antarctica, you can drop down into the water and then swim under the exit portal. Keep swimming to pass through the invisible wall and then the rest of the Antarctica glacier is open to explore. Keep going and you can even return back to New York City. Back in the city, there is no collision so it's especially weird, but that's to be expected when you're exploring odd glitches. Our next event, The Shot Put, Lies of P. Lies of P is a tough game, and tough games practically beg to be broken by the community, not that the community had to look very far for a broken tactic that makes the rest of the game incredibly easy. This isn't really a glitch, an exploit or a mistake. This is a completely intentional option the developers gave struggling players, but most of us wouldn't even consider this an option. Throwable items in most Dark Souls games are useful, but extremely limited. In Lies of P, thrown weapons are unstoppable. And there's one particular item that's better than the rest. Relatively early in the game, you'll meet a black market vendor that sells an item called a shot put. This metal ball deals stagger damage to enemies. When an enemy is staggered, your character can deliver a devastating attack. Anyone familiar with Dark Souls or Bloodborne will understand immediately, but the shot put makes bosses simple. Simply buy up an infinite supply of shot puts then start chucking them. Bosses will stagger in a few hits leaving them vulnerable to your special attacks. Even the hardest end game bosses aren't immune to this trick. Buying shot puts is like activating easy mode in Lies of P. Want to skip an annoying boss? Try the shot put. Quad Shotguns Armored Core 6. One of the simplest tricks on our list is also one of the most effective. Armored Core 6 is a hardcore mech action game from the same developer that gave us Elden Ring, so you better believe the bosses are a big freaking deal. The bosses in Armored Core 6 test your skills to the max, but they can't stand up to a simple trick. Equip four shotguns. Seriously, that's it. Equip two shotguns in your main hand and two shotguns on your shoulders. After firing one set, immediately swap to your shoulders and then fire again. Normally shotguns take a moment to reload between each shot. If you use this trick, the shotguns will reload while they're stowed, allowing you to unleash an infinite torrent of shotgun blasts. And shotguns have a surprisingly long range, making most bosses vulnerable to this trick. We don't even want to call this a trick, it's just a simple thing you can do in the game, but many players just never realize the all-encompassing power of the boomstick. It feels like like cheating even if it isn't. Critical Hit Super Mario RPG Remake for a game that is so good at introducing young kids to the RPG genre, Super Mario RPG can be pretty darn hardcore. The original was a light and fluffy take on Final Fantasy, while the remake adds a load of new content only the toughest of hombres in the Mushroom Kingdom will overcome. In both the original and the remake, there's a useful trick that players can do to deal maximum damage. You will never see another attack that dishes out 9,999 damage, but Geno's special special, Gino Whirl can do just that. By pressing the attack button just as the Gino Whirl attack leaves the screen, you'll score an instant critical hit dealing 9,999 damage. The timing can be tough, but this powerful move works on powerful enemies and even one of the final bosses, Exor, the giant sword. That being said, this trick won't work on every boss, but it does work on some of the post-game boss battles, making certain fights so much easier. We just love 
love seeing those maximum numbers. Breaking out of the dark place, Alan Wake 2. Here's a trick I haven't seen anyone else talking about but we discovered on our return playthrough. In Alan Wake 2 you play as two different characters in completely separate worlds. You'll play as Alan Wake or Saga Anderson and each character has their own inventories you can't share. But there's a way to transfer Saga to the dark place or Alan to the real world and you'll have to manipulate loading screens. On the PS5 if you save your game at a break room and immediately enter a nearby portal before the save is complete, there's a chance you'll teleport to the alternate universe with your current character. Seriously, this works both ways and after a little practice we were able to pull this trick off consistently. We were able to bring Saga into the dark place or fully explore the real world regions with Alan Wake way before he's meant to return to reality. This is a mind bending and fun trick that you likely won't want to do for long. I haven't tried progressing the story with either of them but I assume nothing good will come from that. Tricking the hardest stage, Super Mario Wonder. Normally Super Mario Wonder is a pretty chill game. Players of any skill can beat most of it but there's one challenge that has everyone ripping off their Mario hats in a rage. After multiple completion badges you'll unlock the final final test. This is a gruelling series of difficult sub-levels that you need to complete, running through every major movement badge. Most of these are tricky but I wouldn't call them evil, until the invisibility badge trial. On the final stretch of the final final test, Mario will be completely invisible. You can't see Mario's location and you'll need to hop across a series of floating balloons. This sequence will be difficult even if you were visible, but while you're invisible it is practically impossible. Players all over the internet have been desperate for a solution to this cruelty and there's finally an answer. By switching to 2 player mode, a marker will appear over player 1. This can be done even if you're playing solo, all you need is a second Joy-Con controller to activate. With the player 1 crown over your head, an impossible challenge suddenly becomes possible. This is our favourite trick of the year simply because it saved us from a thousand aggravating deaths. Anyone that did this challenge legit? We salute you. Barrelmancy Baldur's Gate 3 Baldur's Gate 3 is one of the most meticulous games of the year, full of details most of us will probably never see. But there's one trick we can all try. The Sword Coast is packed with different types of barrels and our favourite explode. Smoke powder barrels are the most common and useful. Planting these types of barrels all around an area before a tricky encounter turns an impossible fight into an easy one. And you can find plenty of smoke powder or fire wine barrels in locations like the Shattered Sanctum and the Hidden Zanatum Basement in the Risen Road area. You can even make lugging around barrels much easier with the incredibly useful Club of Hill Giant Strength found at the top of the Arcane Tower in the Underdark. Sit on a stool in the corner then smash it to get the handy club. With the club equipped you'll have a permanent 19 strength buff. That makes carrying and planting barrels even easier. If you want to make a huge mess out of areas like the Goblin Camp or Moonrise Towers, you can clear entire rooms just with barrels. Setting off a fire wine spreads alcohol on the ground leaving a burning puddle that engulfs enemies even longer. That being said, there are plenty of bosses that make this trick harder to do because they'll immediately initiate combat, but most enemies will give you time to explore. If you are struggling to beat a boss or a battle that you just want to delete immediately, try dropping a nuke in the form of a dozen explosive barrels. And those are our favourite weird glitches and tricks of 2023. There's a lot we missed so let us know your favourites in the comments down below. If you like this video then please leave a like, a comment or subscribe because we've got a lot more videos just like this coming soon. 2024 is bound to be a big year and we can only imagine all of those tricks we are going to find.